with you to talk about one of my favorite places to explore, the world of reverb. Reverb is so amazing because it really adds ambiance, tone, and emotion to your playing. It's so important in the studio when you're trying to get the right tones and you're trying to mix a song, and it's really cool in the world of guitar. If you don't know what reverb is, it's kind of that sound that echoes. It's like that wishy-washy thing that it makes your guitar sound huge. And there are so many different kinds of reverb. There's a lot of different spaces in reverb that you can play around with. It all depends on the size and shape of the room that you're in. There's natural reverb, there's man-made reverb, and the beautiful world about guitar pedals is there's so many different kinds of reverb guitar pedals that you can buy of different kinds of reverbs that really change the sound of your guitar. Let's get into like a few of my favorite kinds. They all sort of change the, the, the room your guitar would be in and they also change like the decay or the trail of, of the sound of your guitar. So the first one we're gonna look at is hall reverb. Hall reverb is a natural kind of reverb. It's a natural kind of reverb like chamber and room reverb. It's usually between like a one to three second length of a reverb. So it can be very long, it can be very big. You can usually hear an echo and then you can hear a lot of reverberation, for lack of a better word, in your tone. And then you can hear a bit of the decay. So there's a lot of aspects of hall reverb. I'll show you what it sounds like in a normal playing volume. And then I'll show you what it sounds like with the mix knob turned up a lot. And then you can kind of hear a little bit more of what's going on. Imagine like you're an orchestra. You're like a string section in the middle of this huge concert hall. And that's where hall reverb kind of comes into play. Okay, so let's turn that mix knob up just so you can hear a little bit of what's actually going on with the hall reverb. So this is way louder than you normally would play it with, but if you listen, you can hear a bit of the echo, then you can hear reverberation of the whole ambience of your chord, and then you can hear the decay. So let's play a chord. So again, this is way louder, but you can hear the echo, then you can hear the, the chord, and then you can hear the decay. So again, hall reverb is nice and big. Next up, we have plate reverb. It's a man-made reverb, which basically means it implements a, a sheet or a plate that when a sound wave hits it, it takes all the vibrations of that plate and that's what you hear, is basically the sound waves hitting the surface of that plate, which is why it's called plate reverb. You're gonna get a minimal like initial reflection, so less of an echo of like a hall reverb, but you're gonna hear more of like that full bodied resonance and then a smoother trail at the end. Plate reverb is really good for vocals, for drums, and especially guitar, of course. It's one of the most easier to deal with, I find, especially when you're fiddling around with the settings on a pedal. So plate reverb is very forgiving. Let's listen to it.
so that gives you an idea. It's very forgiving. It really sort of is like a hug. I can kind of predict what it's gonna do. Again, let's turn the mix knob way up so you can kind of get a good idea of what it actually does to your tone. So this is way louder than you'd probably play it with, but so you know what's really going on. So unlike hall reverb, it has less of that initial echo and it has more of just like, like a hug around your sound. Last but definitely not least is spring reverb. Spring reverb is also a man-made device. It's based on the same essence of plate reverb, but instead of a plate, a metal plate, it's a spring. And so when a sound wave hits that spring, it sort of takes what's what it's doing to that sound and then sends it out to the transducer on the other side. To me, it sounds a lot more funkier. It sounds a little bit more modulated. It sounds like something's going on compared to just a plate because it's going through that spring. So in the reverb, you'll hear a lot more resonance in the body. You'll hear a lot more color. You'll hear a lot more changes in the filter of it. Spring reverb is really great for electric guitar. Sometimes you want to kind of hear that wonkiness. And that's what you can have a lot of fun with playing around with spring re reverb. So let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Let's turn that mix knob way up so you can actually hear what's happening with the spring reverb. Sometimes when I'm dialing in my tones, I like to turn the mix way up so I can actually kind of hear what's going on and then I can dial it back into the mix, but otherwise it's really hard to hear the differences between kinds of reverb because they're similar in a lot of ways, but they're actually very different. This is with the mix knob way turned up. <laughs> So you can hear it's sort of that same hug, like plate reverb around your tone, but it has a lot more reverberation. It's kind of funkier and modulates a little bit more with the, with the trails. <laughs> So that's spring reverb, plate reverb, and hall reverb. They all have wonderful places and wonderful applications depending on your song, the kind of music, if you're in the studio, if you're playing live. I definitely use plate reverb probably the most in my playing. I use all three different kinds depending on the day. My name's Lindsay Yell. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out Marty Music and subscribe as well as check out my channel. All the details are below. We'll see you guys next time.